Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to a brand new video. Once again exact differential equation exercise time okay and as always we have to do it using the formulas at first and after that we are going to do it in the elementary way okay it's a nice Jojo pose right here. We are going to do a Jojo style today. Nice and brutal and we are going to use our standard desk. Once again, in the Chevalier problem, we have this thing right here, and as always, we have to check if this thing right here is indeed exact using this little relationship right here. Now, let us take a look at del y p. Okay, that's an ugly del. And well, p as always is the coefficient of our differential in x, meaning we are going to differentiate this thing with respect to y. What are we going to get? Maybe we should split it up. Okay, this is del y of, then we are going to get. 2x times y over y is going to give us 2x. This is going to vanish in the process, plus 1 over y. Now, like I said, this is going to vanish in the process. And 1 over y differentiated with respect to y. Okay, this is y to negative 1th power, okay, to negative 1st, giving us negative 1 over y squared, okay? I hope you agree with me that this is probably true. I do think so. I haven't checked before. I'm just trying it out right now. Okay, now is this thing the same as del x q? q, once again, is the coefficient of our differential in y, meaning we are going to get. There's a little question mark up here. Okay, is this the same as del x? Of once again splitting it up, we are going to have 1 over y, 1 over y, and a negative x over y squared. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> what, <laughs> what is this? Hey, that's, that's pretty good. That's supposed to be a <laughs> bracket. I'm inventing new kinds of mathematical notation right here. Really good, you think. Now differentiating this with respect to x is going to make it vanish and well, negative 1 over y squared is just a constant so we can differentiate x simply. So those two are indeed equal and thus this thing is an exact differential equation. Now, once again, we can make use of those two formulas. It really doesn't quite matter which one you choose yet again, which formula. But at first we have to find our region. And this time I came up with an example that's not too easy, I would say, <laughs> when thinking about the region. We can't use zero, zero as the pair right here. Why? Because what happens if you plug in y not being equal to zero into here? Well, this thing ex explodes to infinity. Infinity ain't a good number or function, okay? That's not something we want. We, don't, we want P and Q to be defined, okay? We want it to be defined in this region. So let us choose something that doesn't make our functions explode. For example, why not being equal to 1? Okay, I hope this makes sense. If you plug 1 into here, this even simplifies stuff. So we are going to choose the pair. So R is not defined as the whole plane this time. It's the whole plane but without y being equal to zero. But we can define our pair x0 and y0 as nothing but. Okay, for x nothing bad is going to happen. We can choose zero once again. But for y0, <laughs> why not choose one, okay? This is going to simplify stuff a lot. It's, it's going to turn out nicely. You can also choose two if you want. I, I really don't care, okay? Do whatever you want. I'm going to go with this right here and that's probably going to turn out nicely. Now we can make use of those formulas, meaning our one parameter family of solutions, c or f of x comma y is thus nothing but this thing right here, okay, x naught is nothing but zero, so from zero to x of p, p is nothing but this thing right here. I'm going to split it up just like we did before. We are going to get 2x plus 1 over y dx and then an integral from 1, this time y0 is 1, to y of q when we plug in x0, okay, comma y. x0 is going to make this part vanish, the second part, leaving us with y over y squared is nothing but 1 over y. Now, integrating this is really easy, okay? So this is going to leave us with x squared over 2 times 2 is nothing but x squared plus x over y from 0 to x. Okay, once again on 0 it's going to vanish. I hope you can see this. On x we just plug x into here. And also I forgot the plus sign. Okay, that's, that's something important. We are going to get the natural log of y from 1 to y. And you see, 
That's why I choose number one, because it's going to work wonders. Natural log of one is nothing but zero. Meaning, overall, we are going to get a solution to this thing being nothing but x squared plus x over y plus the natural log of y. And if we plug in our initial values, you are going to see when x is one and y is one, we are going to get this is one plus one over one. Okay, this makes two plus natural log of one, that's zero. Meaning our constant, see right here, our one parameter family of solutions is nothing but two. Okay, that's something we can conclude. C is nothing but two. Okay, easy as pi. You see, it's, it's really easy to handle. And now we are going to go through the same process once again, just with our elementary way of solving this differential equation, just for the boys who can't remember shit. Okay, meaning, once again, uh, let us start with this thing right here. Del xf is nothing but our p right here. But what is p? p is nothing but this. I'm going to rewrite it again. That's nothing but 2x plus 1 over y. And once again, we are going to integrate it with respect to x, respectively, leaving us with a remainder function with respect to y. And integrating this is what we got before, basically giving us um, f of x comma y is nothing but r of y plus x squared plus x over y. Also, we have this other relationship, just like as always, okay? Del y f is nothing but q. Let's differentiate this thing with respect to y. Also, we can plug in our q, meaning our q is nothing but y minus x over y squared, which is nothing but, I'm going to rewrite it, 1 over y minus x over y. And this is just the partial differential of this thing right here with respect to y. Meaning this is going to give us r prime of y. Okay, this is going to vanish in the process plus Okay, x is just a constant, we can bring it to the front, plus x, and 1 over y differentiated, we had this before, is negative 1 over y squared. This is what we have right now. Am I missing something? I'm missing something, I totally forgot the y squared right here. Man, why is this happening to me all the time when, when doing simplifications, okay? As always, stuff is going to cancel out. This and that is going to cancel out. We can integrate this with respect to y on both sides. So integral of r prime with respect to y is going to give us our r of y. And that's nothing but the integral of one over y is the natural log of y plus some arbitrary constant function. Okay, it's going to manage in the process if you plug in your initial values. Now we can plug the natural log of y into here. And this is indeed what we had before. I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend channel if you like. This has been the last exercise regarding solutions to exact differential equations. I hope you did enjoy this little three part series, mate. And I'm going to do more on inexact differential equations. There's, there are going to be a few more exercises, okay? By Hagoromo Chalk. It's, it's nice, it smells good, and uh, it's, it's tastes pretty good, I guess. No, it tastes nice and waxy. It's, it's not too good. Uh, yeah. Um, send me weird stuff to my physical mailbox. I've got one now. And I'm until next video. Have a flammable Jojo day. See ya. <laughs> so, it's really scary right here. We sneaked into this um, building in Potsdam. It's like a reservoir. Um, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's at night and I'm just using my flashlight and oh man, it's so scary here. <laughs>